Hey guys, welcome to my video here. Today we're doing a bit of an overview on the Vortex Crossfire 10x42 binoculars. Now if you're here watching this video, you've probably already been looking at these 10x42 crossfires online. And like me, you probably didn't find enough close-up footage or information about the binoculars. So I'm hoping to provide that here for you today because for some reason, even though these Vortex binoculars are so popular, the content out there is really, really poor. There's, the, no one is really showing you an up close, um, an up close picture representation of what you get here. There are a few that kind of skim over it, but I don't want someone to just show me and say, "Here's the bag that comes with it." Show me the bag. If I'm ordering online, I can't see it in person. I can't feel it. Handle it close up. So show me what I'm going to get before I have to wait a couple weeks for it. So that's what I hope to do. So I've already had these and been using them for a couple weeks, so these are already out, but let me just show you what's happening here. So you pull open the box and you have your actual binoculars themselves. Besides that, you have this bag. We'll more closely go over the components in a minute. We have the binocular strap, so this is a strap that you would actually wear on the binoculars. You have a sling which I haven't used yet, but a sling that you would attach to the bag here. And lastly, you would have some product information. Now, I'm not going to go over every little piece of information here because most of it you can read yourself online. Okay, now let's closely go over these pair of binoculars so you know exactly what you're getting. First off, they're rubberized, so you have this like kind of sticky rubber not real soft to get dirty but kind of a sticky rubber finish and they just feel really warm in the hands you don't have that cold plastic feel they feel really warm even up around here the black around the clock crossfire logos just feels really really nice and soft of course you have your bit of vortex branding here um, you have your tripod mount up here which you can just unscrew like so and you have that where you'll need an adapter but at least you have the option to mount these on a tripod if you want to later on. On top of the monoculars here you have these soft rubber eye cup protectors and they are joined in the middle here and they are a soft rubber. They grip onto the eye pieces really well. They kind of suction on there. They're such a good fit so you're not going to lose these very easily. On the front side here, you have these beautiful Vortex branded, very soft rubber caps as well that kind of just fall away from the binoculars. Look at that nice coated glass. Isn't that beautiful? But these rubber cups, suction on there as well, very good fit. They hold really well. But they're also not too hard to get off there and they do fall well away from the lens so they, they don't keep coming in on your lens. These can be taken off if you're wearing this in say like a, a bino harness or something you might want to take them off. And that's what the binoculars look like. Look at that nice beautiful roof prism style design. Isn't that pretty? So they do come off so you can wear them properly in the bino harness. You see we have that reflective crossfire logo with the 10 by 42 up there on that focus wheel which is very smooth and has that kind of like tough traction-y feeling to turn. It doesn't just free flow, you've kind of got to really roll it. These eye cups here are soft rubber as well and they turn up quite deep as you can see. If you're not real familiar with binoculars, this is a pretty important feature to have in my opinion. Um, extending that pupillary distance from your pupil to the lens here um, can change the way your eyes view the picture. For me, I have to wear them out like this all the time or I can't seem to get a good picture or a good line of sight down the down the barrel of the binoculars. I always have that bit of encroaching blackness on either side so I keep these twisted out just like that and that's what works best for my eyes. Now to some of you real intense hardcore guys these might be cheap binoculars but these run in the range of between 
around the $250 mark Canadian and I do not call those cheap binoculars I call that an investment binocular something you're going to take really good care of and have probably for a decade or more maybe even a lifetime so I don't consider $250 binoculars cheap and they don't feel like cheap binoculars they are heavy they they are solid they just if you've never held a good pair of binoculars um, this feels what you would imagine it feels like solid heavy textured warm in the hands just a beautiful feeling piece of gear now moving on to the bag and this is what no one seemed to show me very well online and this is what I wanted to see do I need to order a bino harness with my binoculars I couldn't tell I ended up ordering one after because I don't think this is an overly suitable option for wearing on your body like I said those binoculars are hefty and if you want to keep them on all the time while you're while you're hunting or rocking in the woods I, I wouldn't want them hanging off my neck tried it wasn't a fan just a little bit too hefty so first off this is a pretty premium feeling pouch it isn't just a soft like a bag style this is a this is a pretty solid pouch you do have a really big belt loop here which I think is silly I hate when people do that because you put this on your belt and I mean you have a two inch or a one inch belt through there it's just flopping all over it doesn't feel secure on your belt so you might as well not even put this pouch or this uh, loop on there you have two plastic side loops okay for hooking on your sling other than that there are no more outside attachments no molly webbing nothing on the bottom nothing like that you have a snap right here nice big heavy clip this opens up this is kind of like a cheap feeling scratchy nylon but like I said it is built pretty well it is a, a padded bag so it has a bit of meat to it it's not super flimsy it's a little bit stiff inside it's all that same scratchy nylon and you do have a little webbed pouch in there where vortex includes a little cleaning cloth so that's a nice little feature that that pouch is the full size of my hand right there so you could get uh, you know hunting license in there even a few rounds maybe a pair of earplugs or something like that all that can go in there no problem so that is what you get for a pouch or a bag with these binoculars this pouch will probably be perfect if you're just throwing it in the box on the ATV or the skidoo or, or something like that in the glove box of the truck but if you're walking in the woods you might want something more now this strap here is for attaching to the actual binoculars so this is for wearing around your neck it's a nice thick padded strap has that neoprene feel I would guess it is a neoprene uh, we have this is like a screen printed vortex logo here it's all stitched in a piece of vinyl there nylon straps with plastic um, plastic containers there containing the strap so you would just loop this through your binoculars run back through this plastic buckle and that's how it stays on worm like it for a while uh, quite comfortable this strap is nice and wide and that neoprene feels nice around the neck I wore my 10x42s with this for a little while uh, several outings and I actually really like that the neoprene is really soft the strap is nice and wide uh, it bears the weight well around your neck and uh, overall it's a pretty great strap the last thing would be the sling here which I haven't even taken out of the band yet just because I have no use for it you can see we have a little movable piece of padding on there not really much padding but it's an adjustable strap with two plastic clips so that would be the strap to hook onto this bag nothing real special but uh, might be might be good for you so that's what you're getting when you order those Vortex Crossfire 10x42 binoculars. I don't have many binoculars to compare this to. I don't have any high-end binoculars to compare these to. But from that perspective, these feel premium. They feel so good. I couldn't imagine what would make these any better. The image in them is mind-boggling to my eyes. I mean, it's just it's incredible. The, the glass in there is so so clear it's I let my wife try these one day and she made the comment that it's almost like looking through these is clearer than your than your eyes like they pick up more detail than your eyes do so it's uh, it's pretty amazing I really like them highly recommended thank you guys for watching hit that like button I hope I could help you guys get a little better feel for if you might want to choose these binoculars leave me a comment down below 
Tell me what you think are good competitive options to these Crossfire 10x42s. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. We'll see you in the next video.